Ahem. Disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive. That's right, little Timothy. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. New opening screen. Who dis? That's right, I have been blessed by the Paradoxian gods themselves who have given me access to Arms Against Tyranny, the brand new Hearts of Iron 4 DLC expansion pack. Uh, which means you guys all need to click my link down below and uh, pre-order the game or buy it when it's out with the DLC so that they think I'm really cool. Okay, guys, please don't embarrass me. Oh, boy. Boy, do I have that fresh DLC smell. Can you smell it, Timmy? Wow. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, but Arms Against Tyranny mostly focuses over here in Scandinavia, where we've got a whole bunch of new focus trees, including one over here in Iceland. But we'll get to that in a later video. <laughs> There's a little bit of a meme going on there. And uh, I do have a few interesting features to show off to you, Timothy. Here we go. Special forces now have their own doctrine. Sweden has a focus tree. Norway has a focus tree. Finland has a focus tree. Uh, unfortunately, Denmark has a focus tree. And look at that. Iceland has a focus tree. Jan Mayen has been added. Your infantry design has actually been changed, and now you need to go down your doctrine to be able to unlock the full amount to fill in. Your designers can now be used to research things faster. You can also upgrade said designers to make them even more powerful. The infantries have now been worked, so you can't really get all of them at once, and you will always be paying the civvy tax. That's right, Timothy, you shall still produce bananas. And most importantly, you can now click on this little button over here and sell your goods on the market making yourself the big buccarinos without actually doing anything in the war. Uh, also though, I won't be covering this much because I have a whole separate video <laughs> intended for this thing. But yes, anyway Timothy, today we're going to be playing Sveria. Look at the beautiful blue country that will definitely, hopefully be overpowered because Paradox, please have a bias today. So people don't know, but Sweden actually wasn't even in World War II but that did not stop them profiting from <laughs> World War II. So we want to go ahead and aim for getting the old enemy stirs, which will get us out of our neutrality, but we can't actually do that until we get 10% world tension and 10% war support, which shouldn't be too bad as long as somebody starts getting the world spicy. There you go, the world has gotten spicy enough that we can now move over to here and really get the politics going. So we got two options here, we can go with the Germans or we can go with the King, and obviously being a Hoi4 YouTuber, I of course, we'd go for the monarchist faction. Uh, interestingly, we do have a little focus over here called Finland's Causes Are. So when the Soviets declare war on Finland, we have a decision to get involved. And if we manage to take control of Leningrad, it will force the Soviet Union to white peace with them and us, which is very interesting to say the least. Because um, obviously I would much prefer the Soviets not to be powerful. And if I can go ahead and do that, I definitely will. Okay, so as I mentioned, you now have the international marketplace where you you can buy and sell equipment and how it works let's say i want to buy these belgian mausers right now i want to get the uh, the whole lot of them and i will pay them not civilians uh but straight up building power so when they get our buying option uh they wouldn't get just a straight civilian input uh no instead they will just get that amount added into their build queue so a factory could be built pretty much instantaneously if it's uh, enough is bought obviously now you do have to have your deliveries right here and this is where your sieves go so if i wanted to get it really quickly i just whack all the sieves in there and then boom so they've accepted my request my civilians are now working on getting it delivered and then upon delivery they will actually get all of that added to their build queue uh, so there you go i have received all of my purchases and they have received all of the ic and that would directly go into this building let's say so the construction cost for a civilian is 10,800, and they got 2700 from that sale so as you can see it's very worth doing now, I will be doing a full video on this, as you can imagine, because this is very interesting. But, you know, let's just say, for instance, I wanted to go ahead and just sell a bit of support equipment. You know, I don't want to sell a lot, just, just enough to see if the AI will buy it. And I can actually set the price to either high, medium, or low, and that will give you more IC to actually go ahead and put into that build queue. But, obviously, I don't know if the AI would really <laughs> buy this. 
this considering it gets probably way more expensive than it's worth but uh yeah we'll go ahead we'll put that in for a low amount we'll see if anyone buys it oh <laughs> what a surprise <laughs> the germans immediately want to buy from sweden um, <laughs> there you go I'll, I'll go ahead I'll accept that. That'll get delivered to them. And, uh, <laughs> um, but like I said, there you go. So when that's delivered, uh, you'll then get that added to your build queue. And that's how you can go ahead and become, uh, international market extraordinaire. Okay, so getting the king in charge is going to require a bit of friendly banter between a whole bunch of folks who we need to get to support us. And in getting them to support us, they will expect payment. And if we don't, um, pay them back in the future... Well, as you can see, things won't go well. Uh, so yeah, you can also do some royal visits and uh, more rallying, but I'm already up to 40%, so I don't think we need to do that. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and get king and council. All right, now we are definitely in a scramble to take as much land as we can before there is none left. All right, good news is we got Norway and we may get Finland, but unfortunately we didn't get Denmark. Did I say unfortunately? We never wanted Denmark to begin with. Yeah, we are also now way more blue. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we also got the puppet on Finland and now we can also go ahead and integrate them all into our state and get calls on them. Okay, so we've integrated both Norway and Finland now and look at that fat tree count. That is absolutely beautiful. Now we are mostly going to be focusing on planes because I need to take Denmark out. Not because I need them, but because I need them to not exist. Alright, and eventually the Germans will go to war with the Soviets and I'm going to wait until they do that and and then strike them. So because I haven't really been buying a lot of artillery, I've put it up to the Brazilians to fulfill my need. We'll take the lot, Brazil. They are, oh, that does not look good. So whilst I'm just waiting to build up to take on the Germans, I notice that no one's actually guaranteeing Iceland or they're not in a faction, they're not a puppet. So uh, in I go. And now there is method to this because we can also integrate them and we'll also need them later for what we plan on doing. And they've actually got a whole bunch of civilians and more stuff for me to take anyway, so don't mind if I do. It is safe to say it is definitely time to go to war with the Germans, and I am ready. We really need to control these, uh, the straits through Denmark immediately, though, or else, uh, the Germans can be able to naval invade everything over here. Okay, in we go. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Denmark gave up pretty quickly, and the Germans just cannot stop me. We don't want to go too deep here, because I can complete the integration of Denmark before we can uh, actually get it in the peace conference, I think, maybe? I'm not sure, but I'm going to try it and see if uh, I get Denmark free, because I'm not sure I'll be able to get much in this peace conference. I'm going to be realistic with you. Uh, yeah, I've got 2% of the total war participation, which, yeah, it ain't very good. Hey, peace conference over. Uh, we didn't even finish the integration of Denmark, but we did manage to get quite a bit of stuff. Uh, everything we actually need as well to do the Swedish Empire, which we'll get to in a bit, because I need to fight one more person. Uh, but there you go. Denmark has now been integrated so we have it as cause, but more, more funnily enough, we can also go ahead and restore the Kalmar Union and then uh, immediately proclaim Nordic unity. <laughs> <laughs> Can't make up my mind. Okay, so our country is looking pretty good. They've also gone ahead. They've beaten the Japanese. Wait, no. Soviet Japan. No. Okay, so the common turn is also looking incredibly powerful. I don't think I'm going to be able to take them on my own. But maybe the allies might just get involved in a war with them. And then I can go in and do what I did just now. So, okay, is this it? The state of Japan? Are they in the Allies? <laughs> no. Um, okay. I guess everybody does not like <laughs> the state of Japan. It does not seem like the Allies are going to go to war with the Soviets. At least not right now. So we are going to have to do it ourselves. Okay, now because I don't have a lot of manpower, I really can't afford to hold the front down here as well. So I'm just going to pull back over to here, build some forts, and hopefully that's enough. And then we'll up our conscription all the way. <laughs> we're up to extensive already as soon as we're at war with them. Oh, okay, but the Soviets are at war with China. At least their faction is, so they might get 
uh, brought into that, and that could be very beneficial for us. Um, also, just in case it goes really badly, I will have a full bag plan. Okay, <laughs> with 48 units on the front line, it is time. Okay, this may be a mistake. Oh no, we are holding that front line quite easily, and I think we're just gonna absolutely destroy them in the air too. And because Finland has so many more states now, we can really get all these airports down. <laughs> yeah, I think it's safe to say we're beating them in the air. All right, and we've got the full back as well, and I am well underway of making as many nuclear reactors as I can. Okay, all these uh, Soviet submarines, though, are gonna have to go. Oh, Turkey declared war on Romania. Are they in the Allies? They may join the Allies. Uh, no, never mind. Turkey just joined the Chinese United Front. Excellent. So I think we've absolutely blown the Soviet Air Force out of the air now, and we should have free air supremacy to start doing a few little memes. And out to the Soviets for being stupid. Uh, I mean, I could go for a push already, but considering they're up to 2 million casualties on me and they have uh, no intention of stopping uh, anytime soon, I'm just going to let them keep grinding on me. Um, well, someone just beat me to the first nuclear bomb. Yeah, I'm not too sure why the Allies decided to test it out on Greece, <laughs> but sure. There you go, the Allies are finally in this war. Yeah, I guess I'll join the Allies. I have not been in a faction this entire game. It means when the Allies push through this land, they'll actually retake my cores and stuff, so that'll be great. I think it is time for us to start pushing ourselves. Yes, Lenin grad shall fall. After that, I think we are safe to battle plan the infantry, but I'm still just going to go ahead and keep marking the tanks because I don't want to lose them quite. They're quite expensive. Uh, I completely forgot as well, we have this focus called the Crusade Against Bolshevism, which gives us a quite <laughs> hefty buff against the Soviets, so uh, yeah. Uh, we also really need to rush down all the states. We need to uh, proclaim the restoration of the Swedish Empire, so we need Estonia and Latvia, and then our cause back back over here. I say cause, just the land we stole off Germany. Ah, uh, also just found the pride of the Soviet fleet right there, don't mind if I do. Uh, well done America, you get that island. Okay, I suppose I should probably actually get a few users out of these nukes as well. All right. There you go. As well, that we only have to capitulate the Soviets in this, that is great. And also, um, yeah, 3.2 million casualties. Somehow Turkey's also done 1.7 million on them too. Well done, Turkey. Maybe me and you should team up and create a really disgusting pizza. <laughs> Screw me, apparently. Um, you, you, you could maybe fix this, by the way, Parox. That'd be great. Because when they just immediately want me back in. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, by the way. The Allies have quite a few troops. It's really uh, hitting the frames. Definitely stop battle. Okay, first off, stop kicking me from the faction. I think I'm going to have to stop battle planning soon. Because we are out of manpower. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, never mind. We are so close to capitulating them. Come on, boys, to Stalingrad. <laughs> hey. There we go. Guys were kicking me from the faction before. They are most certainly not going to like this one. Hold on a second. China, why are you trying to take Danzig? <laughs> oh, and uh, the Chinese and the British are fighting over crime. You know what? I've thrown my hat in the ring. Okay, now, it's it's not the best peace deal we've ever seen, but it's pretty good. Just, you don't even get me started on whatever this is. But more importantly, finally, we can click the button. I know what you're thinking. That didn't change anything. Um, that's probably because we formed the Nordic League, but we, it did actually give us a trait on our damn king, Gustavus L. Dolphus II gets the great, uh, which I guess, considering how much we've been through, uh, division experience gain 15% max training and experienced soldiers lost. See, <laughs> it's not exactly great at this point. Uh, but more importantly, you can't actually get cores on uh, these lands, but you, it does give you 70% compliance in Hanover, Leningrad, and I think one more state. Maybe it's these ones down here. No, no, yeah, Mecklenburg. There you go. So it is okay. 
But yeah, it's a lot of work to get that. But yes, that was our Sweden game. And as you can see, we have uh, bled Sweden dry. There's no one really left to fight anymore. Uh, but it was incredibly fun. And of course, I do have to say the video is sponsored by Paradox. And if you want to get yourself the DLC, make sure you click my link down below, Timmy. Uh, now, I do have more videos planned. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and do every focus tree that there is possible. So we got Denmark, Norway, Iceland. But also, I do want to do a separate video only doing uh, the old marketplace, which I think will be next video. Uh, but it's safe to say a few memes can be done here, and I didn't even get into, like, any of it really in this video, but don't worry, you'll be seeing it. But yes, Arms Against Tyranny is out, and oh yeah, I also forgot the Finnish focus tree. How could I forget the Finnish focus tree? We've also got to do Finland! Uh, but yeah, Arms Against Tyranny will be out uh, soonish, and if you want to go ahead and get it, make sure you click my link down below. It's very fun. I like it a lot. It has so much fun stuff in the game and uh, like all the designers, all the fun stuff you can do. It's great. But yes, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe down below, and we'll be looking at more arms against tyranny soon. Anyway, goodbye. See you later. Smell you later. Blech.